I wanted to uncover the backstory of the Indonesian traditional music that's been used in the biggest pop culture that we have now, like Gamelan is being was being used in the film Avatar by James Cameron. This was written by LA Times and also it's been u- it's being used in the TV show Star Trek and also Nintendo games Mario Brothers. And people may have heard it, but a lot of people haven't seen it. So I would like to share this. So last year the Indonesian consulate in LA approached me to cover a concert and I love filmmaking. So, you know, anytime I have a chance to shoot, I'll say yes. So I said yes. I got to the concert in downtown Los Angeles and I saw it was full house and when I saw the audience reaction I was inspired to make this something bigger and so you know I filmed it I edited it and um, we put it on YouTube and you know turns out it got a lot of views and we got a lot of press uh, from here internationally and that moment I realized that I have to make this a feature film so then uh, I went to Bali and filmed this and then uh, we filmed both in LA and Bali and then so we went to Bali two summers so the whole process took about a little over a year and and then along the way you know we met Judith Hill Grammy Award winning singer and so she's also part of the film so actually Judith and I met because uh, she was looking for somebody to uh, help her with her show, somebody, a Balinese composer, and a mutual friend of mine, uh, a mutual friend of ours recommended her to meet me because I'm doing a documentary about Balinese gamelan. So we met, we basically hit it off, and then I told her, you know, the person, the best person that could do this is probably Wenton. So I introduced her to one and they hit it off. So it started from like, oh, she wanted somebody to help with her show with Balinese Gamelan into like, now we have three projects. She is in the feature film and we also have a music video. So Wenton had the idea, you know, like I, uh, he's been, he's been in the U.S. for 40 years and he wanted to leave a legacy and he thought, you know, this is, uh, a this is like kind of like meant to be that he met Judith at the right time and we we're making this documentary and he thinks that we should make a music video so that, you know, like he can like put gamelan uh, combining with funk. It's something very unique and I think it hasn't really been done before. So then we started working on the uh, music video and we thought that the process was very interesting. Um, that's why like, I captured it and um, put it also in the film. Yeah, I mean, pretty much almost every step of the way. So I'm Indonesian. I grew up in Indonesia. But Indonesia have like 17,000 islands. We have a few hundred ethnicity groups. So for me, even as Indonesian, I am from East Java. Balinese culture is like totally different. The language, the culture, everything is totally different. In Bali, like... Every Balinese is an artist because music and dance is part of your life. You know, it's not like a show for tourists or or anything like that. Like they every morning they make um, offering and this offering they handmade it, you know. So it's like flowers, very colorful, very pretty. And then when you're a Balinese, when you're born, when you become an adult, when you get married and even when you uh, pass, gamelan music is being played. So this is like a culture that like, even as an Indonesian, like it's, you know, it's very different. It's something very, very interesting. Actually, the challenges that I have in the film is that we have a lot of good footage and a lot of interesting footage that I have to pick and choose and narrow it down, you know, to like a feature length film. You know, uh, my, uh, my friend told me like, you can make three films, you know, with the footage you have. But you know, of course you can do that. Like you just wanna make like one film first. Yeah, so, um, and then, like, I think just the whole process of uh, learning, also, like, for me, is, like, learning my own culture. Like, that was, you know, kind of very interesting, yeah. So, when we went to Bali, like, the most important thing that I think should happen is that all the crew needs to live the life like a local. So, we stayed with the local. And... We didn't stay in a hotel, we stayed in a villa with the local and we eat like the local, you know. We immerse ourselves in the culture and that way you really understand 
the culture and everything that goes. Um, and Bali, Bali is very beautiful. Like in Bali, it's like, you know, like in a film set, it's like, you know, like usually you only have like certain angle that's good. But Bali is like all around you turn is nice, you know. So that's that's like make everybody's job a lot easier, you know, because in Bali is like, the architecture, they maintain it. The culture, the tradition, they maintain it. And everything is, like, very colorful. And, of course, I have, like, really amazing cinematographer as well to work on this. And he's been to Bali before. Um, and, you know, and when we were there filming, I told them, hey, okay, let's take tomorrow off. And, you know, what they, they, they were like, oh, oh, you know, uh, can I just, like, take the camera? I want to shoot. So basically on their day off, they were filming, like, you know, so they really, really enjoyed the whole process as well. So actually when I first met uh, Pawenta and Wenten, the husband and wife, they're really nice, but they don't really, like, talk a lot about themselves. They're very, like, humble. Like, you know, like, the wife actually, like, choreographed Ricky Martin. And I didn't discover that for the longest time, you know, because she's very quiet, so they have a lot of accomplishment, but they don't really talk about it, you know? And Pa uh, Wenten, like, Nyoman uh, Wenten, is actually very easygoing, always very happy, so, you know, you, like, I never thought, like, his mom, like, passed, like, when he was so young, you know, until I did this documentary, because he seems to be, like, a very happy person, he's always helping people, and, you know, like, when you go to his, like, when we film at his house, like, the whole crew is, like, the family, you know, like, they prepare, like, like, a whole, like, a whole bunch of food. Like, whenever you go shoot in uh, Wenton's house, like, you're not going to go hungry. On top of that, they'll make you things to bring home, you know, so for the next, like, two, three meals, you don't even have to cook, you know. So everybody always happy to shoot at his house. And, um, yeah, like, in the beginning, like, because they don't really like to talk about their accomplishment or anything like that. So I didn't know much. I know he was very accomplished because uh, I know he performed everywhere. He performed in the Disney Hall and he's performed all over U.S. He started a lot of the programs in the U.S., Gamlan programs in the U.S. And he taught, He currently teaches in UCLA and Cal Arts as well. So you know they're accomplished, but you didn't really know, like, how much accomplishment they really have from like when he was like in his like probably teenage and 20. So he's traveled to like several countries. Like he traveled to North Korea. He traveled to China when he was in, after he graduated high school and he's now 70 years old, you know. So he's been very accomplished for like the last 50 years, you know. And I discovered it like slowly as we like make this film. I like both because I love martial arts since I was young. So I've always enjoyed doing like action scenes. And actually uh, I started my career as a stunt woman. And then eventually, you know, I make my way um, to directing. So I like both. Um, I really enjoy doing the documentary too. Like when we did Belly Beast of Paradise, it didn't feel like work. It's basically like a vacation without sleep. I'm finishing up an action thriller. It's called Insight. It will be out next year, hopefully. So, you know, look for it. Thank you for watching Muse. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on all the other videos you see to watch more of our content.